Okay, this is a quick tutorial on a feature I learned about through Michael Stelsner that you can use in Facebook to debug links. That means that we try to use the link and something happens. Uh, it, it, the link doesn't work right. And this is an example Michael Stelsner shows. And it's something we've all seen where we we paste in a link in Facebook. We hit, uh, we paste it in, and instead of it giving us this little nice summary of what the article's about from the first paragraph and maybe showing an image or a thumbnail, it just gives us these two links that have been shortened, uh, or it just gives the links that we provided. It really doesn't do anything except just reflect or bounce back what we've already had, and that's because there's something not necessarily wrong with the link we're using, but there's something a little bit funny about the page, the way it's structured. Uh, sometimes it can be something as simple as our site is not responding fast enough to Facebook, so it just says, well, here's the best I can do, and it just puts the link there. So what the debugger does is uh, try to find out what's wrong with the link, that it's not performing to its utmost, and then uh, th then sets up the link internally in Facebook so that it's going to give you as much flexibility as possible in terms of what Facebook will serve up. So let me let me flip around here just a little bit and let's try a link that I've already got kind of on tap. This is uh, something that was posted uh, from U.S. rice producers from the Rice Advocate and I've I've inserted this photo here. It's uh, not as big as it would appear to be. It's it's uh, actually a 403 width, so it's pretty much ideal for Facebook and should appear. But let's see what happens. I'm going to copy the link for the URL. Copy. Then I'm going to go to Facebook. Got a lot of pages open, so y'all bear with me. Yeah, okay. This is the uh, AgFax Facebook fan page. Let's click in here, and we're going to paste it into the uh, what have you been up to field. And it's going to give us our friend Mr. Weathervane. So that's not the ideal thing. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to hit F5. We're going to... Uh, we're going to refresh the page. Let me just show you how some of you do it. We're going to reload the page. I'm going to click leave page and that gets rid of the post that we had in there up till then. I'm going to go to the debugger and I will have a link for this in a web post to our uh, staff uh, blog that will uh, give you the, the actual link and, and I would recommend that everybody bookmark this link or put it in a tab have it someplace where you can find it so input URL that means the thing that I just tried and I got the weather vane so I'm going to put it put the uh, insertion point in that field and I'm going to click paste and I'm going to click debug Okay, I don't know what all of this means, but sometimes you will get a red mark, a red symbol, and it says cannot be debugged or uh, errors that can't be fixed. And, and these are errors that uh, are things that I'm going to have Rick look into later, but uh, these are warnings. These should be fixed. If you get something that says cannot be fixed, then we've got a different kind of problem, but it may be something as simple as the site's running slow and uh, Facebook can't extract all the information we need. This is kind of interesting because it shows the images that are going to be available now that the link has been debugged. So this is what, as, or to put it another way, this is what Facebook sees in terms of what is extracted from the uh, the debugging process. So let's go back to our Facebook fan page for AgFax and now that we've debugged the link and Facebook has gone in its own internal system and said okay this one's debugged let's paste it again and see what we get. 
Okay, so we went from having the rooster to actually having the image that we wanted. So let's put something in here. Uh, let's see. Let's just let's be lazy for a moment. We're just going to copy this, and we're going to paste that in, just so we can get the the process moving. I'm going to take this part out. Then we're going to hit post, and there it is. So effectively, we've used this tool, the debugger, to uh, go ahead and clear up any of the confusion Facebook had about how the link is supposed to work. And as I learn more about this, I'll pass more details along to you.